Bonsoir. Well, that was harder than I thought it was going to be. Um, despite everything that I did to make it simple, um, Christmas Day dinner was simple, but not when you've had codeine and paracetamol and champagne. It went okay. We coped, but I um, felt a little out of control in the kitchen. I had to get Joe in at one point to do the slicing because um, my hands weren't really working very well and I'd got my big sharp knife. Um, so it was a bit dangerous, but it, it went okay. I nearly forgot the entree, which needed to go in the oven. So then I had to microwave that, but it went okay. And the food was nice, far too much duck. I toyed with only serving up two breasts between us, but we had one each and it was, I sat there eating one for ages. Um, but that was okay. And, um, the dogs were okay. We thought that would be a bit stressful having them here. Um, especially as Achi had had, um, lumps removed a couple of weeks ago. And then on, under his arm, one of his, um, uh, stitches had, his, it had burst, the, the stitches had come out and then they'd stapled them and then that had gone wrong. So he had to go back in um, two or three days before Christmas and have that redone. So he was in a t-shirt and not allowed to move around in the way that he would. Um, so that was a bit complicated, but actually it worked out fine. And it's the first time the dogs have ever stayed here. So I think they were a bit confused. Um, they certainly looked subdued on Boxing Day, sort of thinking, well, you don't know, do you? You don't know what animals are thinking, but it was like, I think they were probably sitting there thinking, when are we going home? It's boring at Nanny and Grandad's. So, um, Boxing Day dinner again, I'd cooked that in advance. So it was a case of just making up some Oriental type couscous, which was easy. Mark chopped the, the shallots and the peppers. And it, I mean, it really was easy, but I know that, um, after the afterwards i know that i've done more than i would normally have done um under normal circumstances and um joe went home at about four i think and uh um yeah i went i was in bed by half nine i was just absolutely shattered went to bed at half nine um got up again at about half 12 for an hour then went back and then didn't get up till 10 o'clock this morning. So, um, and uh, I've been, at times I've been tired today, lots of pain. And on top of that, feeling in pain and um, cold and tired. I hit my hand, I hit my, the worst part. It is the worst part here of my rheumatoid arthritis. And I knocked it really hard, heavily because the cat was on my chair and I went to take her off my chair and bang into the, the chair. I do that a lot. It's like you really don't want to be hitting your hand and I do it a lot and I'm not sure whether there's a, I don't know, whether it's me, whether I, you know, miss, um, what's the word? What's the word when you, you, you're sort of spatially sort of missing slightly? Anyway, I did that and... I could have screamed, but I don't scream. I'm not a screamer. I'm not noisy. Talking about this a few days ago, um, when I gave birth to my children, I didn't really make a lot of noise and they, were, they weren't they were small babies and I'm small. Um, Phil was particularly a big baby, nine pound eight. Um, and I didn't scream. I didn't shout. And um, I could hear women making all those noises that some women make when they're giving birth. And I remember laying there thinking, oh, for goodness sake, why are they doing that? But I'd been taught to be quiet. I'd been taught not to, not to, not to meet my needs, to be quiet, to protect everybody else so that I didn't upset them. And I carried on doing that even, you know, when I'm giving birth to um, my children. And so, I really, really hurt my hand and just very quietly exploded inside. Um, and I'd already just taken painkillers. So there was no painkiller I could take to, 
I'd taken painkillers about an hour before. So I couldn't take painkillers. I rubbed magnesium oil on, put my gloves on, and it took two hours for it to subside the pain. Um, so that's today. Um, today is the 27th. Um, we had a delivery yesterday because there's no Boxing Day in France. We had a delivery yesterday before Christmas, early in December. We ordered um, new chairs and a table. We'd wanted really, really nice, well, one I liked, a really nice table and chairs from Ikea, but it was never in stock. So in the end, we gave up and went for something else. So yesterday we got all excited because we thought the table was coming. I knew the chairs weren't due till mid-January, but we thought the table was coming and the guy turned up at the door in absolutely pouring rain. Rain was really, really coming down, absolutely soaking. And he came in and with his wet bit of paper and, and for me to sign. And then he went out and picked up these big boxes, bought them in. I'm in the middle of cooking the couscous and two great big cubes came in. And I thought, well, that ain't a table. And it was the chairs that were slightly flat packed, which Mark sat and put together yesterday afternoon. Anything, he loves doing stuff like that. You know, it's another kit to him. Um, so no table, and I've not heard anything about the table. So it was due yesterday. The, the last date that that was due was yesterday. So I have contacted, I ordered them from La Redoute, but I think both of them are a bit like Amazon Marketplace. They're from other vendors. They're not from La Redoute. So I contacted them early hours of this morning saying, you know, the date's passed. I've not received anything. Um, I've not received any communication, nothing and um, where's my table so and um, that's in hand joe reminded me yesterday completely forgotten that um back before brexit uh, i was using um cbd oil as a um to help with um joint well not joint because it is was it joint pain back then i was using it for my pmr pain it wasn't joint pain as such it's a pmr pain isn't joint pain really um I was using CBD oil and I stopped being able to buy it from my provider because of Brexit. Um, so Jo reminded me yesterday because she's been taking it. She got it for the cat and she's been taking it for herself. And she said how wonderful it is, how well it's been working for her joint pains. Um, so I have ordered some today and I've gone back to my um, previous provider because they now can send, send to France I realized I'm probably going to pay duty on it but whatever so I'll be quite keen to go back onto that and see if it works because I don't really like taking um, carrot codeine and paracetamol um, yeah don't really like doing that so um, I hope you've all had a lovely Christmas I hope that whatever you wanted um, was how it was for you. I somebody wrote in comments that some of the southeast have been out without water. That the southeast of the UK have been out without water at some point. I don't understand why that was. Um, terrible, terrible, awful um, snow bombs, cold bombs in in the US. And I hope um, that you haven't been. Um, impacted in that, that you haven't lost anybody in that because there have been deaths. Um, it's frightening, isn't it, when stuff like that happens? And um, yeah, not really a very nice Christmas for people in those circumstances. Um, and of course, there'll be people who have not been able to have um, the heat that they would have wanted at Christmas or anything at Christmas or would have been able to eat reasonably well at Christmas and I as much as I'd like to there's nothing I can do about it I really hate feeling um, impotent against all of the um, awful awful circumstances people find themselves in and I am completely impotent and whatever little bit of money I throw at people in period po poverty and um, people like refugees and um, a crisis for Christmas and shelter and resto de coeur, you know, we, I, we were always giving money, you know, some of these, some of them we have regular contributions to, 
however much I send is not enough and I feel completely impotent and and there are people in the world um, who have so much money that they could do something about that. They could do something. Elon Musk, Jeff, Jeff, Jeff Thing, Amazon guy, uh, Virgin guy, who I used to hold Richard Branson. I used to hold in high esteem. I don't now. I wouldn't wipe my feet on him. Um, it's Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos it is, isn't it? Elon Musk. Just those three, I mean, there are more, but those three could make such an impact on poverty and and all of that. And they don't. They piss it up the wall and don't give a shit about people who are not able to eat, not able to feed them, uh, heat themselves, not able to live and don't have shelter. It really pisses me off. As you know, I spoke about it just before Christmas and here I am doing it again. So I won't now. I'll stop. So anyway, thanks for all your wishes. Thanks for your uh, good wishes at Christmas. I really appreciate them. Um, and um, I have um, decided to stop looking at Tattle because it's... <laughs> there are some people on Tattle I like, but there are a lot of people on Tattle that are um they just want to talk about themselves all the time and they, they they come across as um sitting on their high horse it's a good job i can't post on there that i was banned because i would have said something and of course i can't say anything because i can't but anyway i've let go of that i've i've, I've dropped it from uh, yeah i've been reading it all a lot and um it's it's not good for my mental health. It's not good for anybody's mental health. And these people is just they're churning over stuff all the time, chewing and chewing and chewing on stuff and making themselves really bitter. Apart from the odd few people um, who don't I don't think are bitter. Jules for one, Comtis Rose, um, T Rex. They don't come across as bitter, but a lot of the other people do. So I've come away from there. And um, tomorrow is Wednesday and we have no plans. I was a bit surprised today that um, um, when I was doing when I was doing our main meal, which is at lunchtime, I said to Mark, I c we've got cold pork in the fridge and we've got cold turkey in the fridge and I don't want any, I can't face any cold meat, can't face any meat. That's so not me, so not me, don't know what's happened. It's probably short lived because I do need to be able to sort the pork, eat the pork and the turkey. Um, otherwise, I'm going to have to chuck it in the freezer really quickly before it begins to not be really um, up for consumption. I have to make it into a curry, but I just couldn't face meat today, which is highly unusual. It must be something really wrong with me. OK, tomorrow's Wednesday. Nothing going on for us. Hope you're still having a nice time. It feels normal here. It often does. I always forget that France just goes back to normal until New Year's Eve, whereas in the UK, it just feels like a slog to New Year's Eve. So I'm pleased that we're here. If we want to go out, we can go out. Shops will be open if we want to go and look in shops. So I hope you're going to have a nice time tomorrow, today or whatever time of day it is for you. Take care. <laughs>